Uh, today is one of those days we don't do separation of powers. I've managed to come into Parliament. When I was in Parliament, I didn't actually leave this part. So it's very exciting for me to be here. And I thank you. As we celebrate today, uh, or rather as we celebrate International Women's Day, which will fall on Sunday, I think it's just important for us to celebrate ourselves and to look at our history. Sometimes when I talk to the young women of today, they take everything for granted. The gains that we made in the Constitution for granted. The Sexual Offences Act for granted. But it was not like that. Before I joined Parliament in the Ninth Parliament in 2003, the Parliament before us, as was rightly said, had only four women. When I was in Parliament, we were 18 women. But we hadn't achieved much by then. In fact, if I recall, in terms of constitutional reforms and struggle, one of our biggest celebrations was in 1997, when we managed to persuade the ruling party, Kanu, to give us six out of the 12 nominated seats. And even then, for I think four years, for at least one election after that, President Moi still did not appoint the six women. He still gave some of those seats to men. I talk about President Moi because President Moi was a very traditional strong man. And it was very difficult for us women to engage him on the issue of women's rights terrain. But I think we have to thank him posthumously that because he was such a strong challenger and such a traditionalist, he made us fight so much more. He made the women's movement very strong. In fact, we became almost militant. I know President, to President Moy Fida, which was an organization that I was in, he considered us to be an irritant. He asked us what we went to do in Beijing, and so we had to step up to the challenge and say this is what we've gone to do. And eventually, we had a very strong women's movement, which I think informed the changes. Many of us in the women's movement went into the opposition. Kanu was not particularly friendly to opening spaces for women. And we went into the opposition and a lot of women in 2003 came into government. So in 2003 is the first time you're seeing government, more women members of parliament, women PSs, women cabinet ministers. But yet it was not enough. It's interesting dealing with attitudes and traditional, a traditional setup. Like when we first came to parliament here, I used to describe parliament here as, for me it felt like being I was a girl in a boys' secondary school. There was all manner of things that used to happen. Myself and Ceci Barire, we consistently suffered from scratching. I don't know if you know what scratching is. Scratching is the handshake with a little scratch at the palm. Uh, I have not said anything uh, on Robo Wanjala. I have not said who was a scratcher, but there were plenty of scratchers in the ninth parliament. I'm hoping, ladies, that in this parliament, that scratching is no more. There was also a lot of resistance, and it was very difficult. It was very difficult to, for us to bring on board our male counterparts and colleagues, yet a lot of things were for mutual benefit. For example, in the zero rating for sanitary towels, we actually asked our, 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 our male colleagues to assist us, particularly those who are polygamous and who had many daughters, in terms of showing how much the government was making off them because they, they were paying such high taxes and they supported us with that. But there was resistance and I was hoping today that I would have met uh, Honorable Musa Cheboy because in 2007, when we were pushing for the changes in the Political Parties Act, when we were trying to link the Political Parties Fund to the number of women who are in the necks of parties, I know that Musa Cheboy was one of the people who said it, was, it would not happen. But it did. Now, of course, he has crossed over, as has Senator Watangula. I'm impressed to hear him today, because if you had seen him during the uh, sexual offenses bill, we were definitely on opposite sides.